Oliver, rumours swirling today that three banks may be interested in buying 17% of Comedy Bank that we used to call Commerce Bank um, that's still owned by the German government. Why on earth would anyone be interested in buying that stake? Well, it's a very good question. The, the three that have been named in, in various different publications are UBS, BNP Paribas and Santander. Why would they want to? Well, it's difficult to see. Um, and Commerce Bank's not got a great track record. But if you look at it, there are various things inside it that they might like. The, the Mittelstand Bank the, the, that serves the German Mittelstand, that's a very good part of the business, very high return on equity there. And they might want to do some deals with the retail banks. So it's not impossible that there is something inside Commerce Bank that they might see as attractive. But even the three names mentioned, it's hard to believe, isn't it? UBS have just come out with a strategy that investors like very much. BNP doesn't seem to fit them overly. Um, it's very hard to tell. Santander seems to have be distracted in other areas. I mean, even the names that are being bandied about don't seem too credible, do they? No, it's d very difficult to see why each of those three would want to be. As you say, UBS has changed its strategy and Santander is it's shrinking. But the alternative is that, that there's just a bargain there. Um, Commerce Bank shares are very cheap, 0.3 times book value. That's about just about the cheapest in Europe. It's very difficult to, to find anything that's cheaper. And you might take a view that, look, if, if that's turning out to be overly pessimistic on the bank and what it's got, then there's an awful lot of upside if you want to take the plunge. And there's another reason why we may think this is just a, a rumour generated by the hot summer. Um, it's the election in Germany, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, the election in Germany is coming up in September and the, the German state is still sitting on a big loss on its remaining stake in Commerce Bank. It paid about 5 billion euro for it and it's worth about 1.2 billion euro now. That's a huge loss to try and sell to your electorate just as, the, as you go into them to try and get them to, to re-elect you. So it'll be a very, very tough decision. Well, no doubt um, one of the three banks will confirm this deal tomorrow because we don't think it's going to happen. Thank you very much for that update, Oliver.